Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and wanted to walk you through how to use um, Canvas groups in your classroom. So uh, I've enrolled or I've got I've enrolled a test student, Jamal Doe, as a student here into this Canvas course. And this one is just HIM 242, Management Leadership. It could be any other course that you're using, as long as your instructors put you in a group. So and then to get to it, or to get to your groups here. So I'm just I'm on the main page. I've logged into the classroom. Look here, course groups. Boom. We'll just put that in a new tab. Let's see if we can find it another way. So let's go to people. View user groups. And you can also so you can see the roster of the class. This is great if you ever need to send someone a message. And then you would go to view user groups and you can see what group you belong to. All right, so it all gets us to the same area. You would click here, so if you click here, you can see the members, who's in it. We click the, click the group itself. It'll take us into a private area that only you and your group have access to. So this is a really cool, um, rich environment. You can post your own announcements, saying, hey guys, how you doing? So test, boom. And you just hit save. This is a test. Just Jonathan goofing around. Disregard. And you hit save. You could upload files there. You could upload um, um, anything you want. And then your teammates could respond to you. Just like how your instructor interacts with you on the announcements for the class, you can do that with your group mates. And it's all with the um, security of it being confined to your group. You can see who's in this group. We've got the people here on the left. And then we've got, um, we could, you could create your own page if you wanted to. Um, it's a wiki, um, so you can talk to each other. You could do group work. Although it's probably not the best um, um, idea, or it's, it's probably not the best forum. So, but let's say we wanted to um, go create a discussion forum to manage our ideas. We're brainstorming. You could create a discussion forum. Test. Please post your ideas here. And be sure you click allow threaded replies. And then you could also say um, refer to the, the assignment instructions in the attachment that Mr. E uploaded. All right, so we're saving. Now, all of your teammates are able, and if you hit the subscribe button, you can get email notifications when um, someone posts to it. That's pretty cool. If you don't want to be subscribed, you can just say, hey, don't worry about it. But if you want to, make sure it's green. All right, now conferences. So don't worry about people, don't worry about files. Conferences is pretty cool. Conferences allows us to um, create just a confined, um, it's like a Skype session between just this group. You can say I want it for 60 minutes, um, leave it as big blue button. So let's say um, group one conference for ideas, something. Put a description in that everyone, everyone knows. And then invite all course members. It'll be pre-selected and go ahead and do that. And you'll be able to, it'll send a notification out um, to in the email and people can respond to it. You could set it up for a certain time if you wanted. So that's pretty neat. So just hit cancel. But and then you could run a conference and join it with your other classmates. Collaborations. Another great tool to, or to collaborate with each other using either Google Docs or Etherpad. You know me, I'm a Google Doc fanatic. So I will always push Google Docs. And you're gonna have to authorize your account with them. So and once you do that, you'll be able to seamlessly um, create a Google Doc and you can authorize who in your group um, gets access to it which should be pre-selected to all and then um, what the interface does is it, go, it tells Google Doc create one under this person's account and share it with these users and they'll be granted um, um, edit access so it's only those people who have access to it and when you are done when you're um, after you've created this when you go to collaborate or collaborations, you'll be able to see your collaboration listed here. So under current collaborations. 
So and there'll be a link to it. So all you have to do is go back to it, and that's where you can go and write your paper. You can edit. You can do all of these neat things that Google Docs or Etherpad allows you to do. So this is just a little bit of a uh, sneak peek into what you can do with this really rich environment that Canvas gets us. All right. Hope you're doing well, and uh, keep studying. All right. Bye.